I am now on the list for Microsoft hardware apparently. So all I got in terms of information about this particular guy here is that this is model number 1482 of a keyboard made by Microsoft, okay? This is the 3XJ00019 in terms of the part number and it comes in a brown box. This is a Microsoft keyboard which has a bit of a wave to it. Let's go ahead and take the uh, plastic covering off here and hopefully at some point we will be able to find out exactly what this model is. Ah, here we go. So, apparently what I have to unbox and take a look at today is the Microsoft Comfort Curve Keyboard 3000 for business. So that is what MS part number X822134-005 is. Look at that, the manufacturing date is like less than a month ago. Very cool. Alright, so let's have a look at this here product and see if Microsoft includes anything else of note in the packaging. So we do have a product guide with important safety and health information as well as a limited warranty. In terms of warranty, I wouldn't worry too much. Oh, okay, keyboard in uh, three years. Neat. Okay. And, and the thing about Microsoft Hardware Warranty is that it is actually one of the best in the biz. They are, there are very, very, very many testimonials out there on the Intar web about how Microsoft takes care of their hardware customers when something goes wrong with a Microsoft keyboard, mouse, headset, joystick, whatever the case may be. So let's have a look at the layout overall. I was actually one of the, uh, shoot, what was that thing called? I think it was called the Microsoft Natural Keyboard, that, that old, old one that was made of like, you know, beige, old computer colored plastic and it had the split in the middle, right? So when you're using it, you're like this, clickety, clickety, clickety. Everyone hated it when it first came out. Um, well, everyone I knew. I mean, there are lots of people who swear by those, those, uh, those ergonomic style keyboards, but I loved it. I had one of those original Microsoft ones that I used for years. And this is more like an in-between. So you don't have that split down the middle of the keyboard, but you can see if you look at it in an angle, it does have a bit of a curve. So why did I like it so much? I liked it because this, when you're, when you're resting your arms, this shape, I'm gonna point them at you, is a lot more natural than this in terms of your shoulders and the alignment of your arms. So they put a slight curve to this keyboard so that you're actually holding your hands in a more comfortable position while you type, while keeping the keys all together so you don't have that weird unnatural split. Because remember, not everyone types correctly. Although using that keyboard was one of the ways that fixed my incorrect typing where I was reaching over to the other side of the keyboard whenever it was convenient because the split didn't allow me to do it. So this guy right here just has a slight curve so it's an in-between, a flat keyboard, and a large ergonomic style keyboard. That's what I, where I was trying to go with that. Now in terms of the layout, we've got a pretty standard layout. Microsoft hasn't committed any cardinal sins on this keyboard. So you can see we have a full size tab, very long shift key in order to make sure that you can reach it like no matter what. Look how long that shift key is. It's like the longest key on the keyboard other than the space bar. Okay, we do have a full size backspace key, full size enter key, and another long shift key. Look at these shift keys. They're like monstrosities. Okay, we haven't moved around any of the critical keys. We have a nice large delete key, home end, page up, page down are all in their correct locations. The scroll lock, insert, and insert. I like this one up here because having the insert up here means that sometimes you can accidentally press it when you meant backspace or you meant delete and then you end up typing over your stuff and it compounds a small error and turns it into a much, much larger error. Uh, we've also only got one Windows key, so there's a Windows key here, and then the other one is a function key. So using the function key, we can access keys that we otherwise can't access, like pause. And it looks like that's actually the only thing it does? No, it couldn't be. Must be. Fascinating. Okay, we do have a number pad layout, a number lock, and we have a couple media keys as well, so we can access the calculator. That's good for business. We can also play pause, reduce the volume, and increase the volume of the music that we are listening to in our office, which is bothering the others next to us. And that is pretty much all that I have to say about it. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the Comfort Curve 3000 from Microsoft. Don't forget to subscribe for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Ooh, and here's another useful feature. So it actually shows you, see there's a little star on the control, and it shows you what all of these hotkeys actually do, so you don't even have to think about it at all. Look at that, I didn't even know Windows D goes to the desktop. See, look, and Windows E goes to my PC. I know most of these other ones though.